Hey folks, this is Lindsey Huddleston with Sports Psychology Solutions here at the uh, Inside Prep Sports Fall Super Showcase put on by none other than Mr. T.J. Kelly. I'm here with a nice young man out of time to chat with him a little bit off the uh, camera before we go through this media training. Mr. Griffin, last name? Mays. Mays, that's what I thought. It was in my head. We were talking about his small town of Pickney that I'm familiar with. I'm a native Detroit living in Lansing. But uh, you come off as a young man with a lot of personality. Is that what your teammates would say about you? I mean, yeah, I'm always up on the court. I'm jumping around. I sometimes get told to calm down a little bit because yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm really in the game, but I don't see that as like a downfall or anything. Cause no, you shouldn't because in this world, you and I are meeting for the very first time and just we've been able to talk, we've been able to engage, and those are the things that are going to propel you going forward. But enough about that. Uh, let's talk about the showcase. I mean, we were here today to really focus on basketball skills, but we're doing this media training. But let's talk about something that you got from being out here on the court that you think can be immediately helpful to your game? Uh, I would say a lot of the stations, uh, a lot of the moves were something that we don't really cover at high school basketball. It was really specific, like all the footwork, and then the games, you have a lot of chances to put what you learned into the game, and a lot of people, they know what you're going to do, because that's what we just worked on, so then you got to work on counter moves. It's just great experience overall. Yeah, and it's interesting you say that, because unfortunately with high school ball, they don't get as much time to work on the development, you know, but here's an opportunity for you to get out here and do that. That's good. So what was last season like for you guys at Pickney? Well, last season I was on JV. I was a freshman, and we started off. We started off really well. We had a couple injuries, and we we uh we suffered a little bit. But at the end of the season, we really picked it up, and we finished at 500. We were playing in a real good league, the SEC. Mm -hmm. So I was I was pretty proud of my team, right? And how we performed. You know, unfortunately, injuries are a part of the game, and um, you start a season off, you expect to have your full roster, but things happen. It doesn't work out like that. So how did you guys bounce back? Well, we. Our starting point guard went down for the rest of the season, so that was really tough. Oh, wow, I bet. But uh, a lot of the guys off the bench really stepped up. We came together. Our last couple games, we really took it up on defense. We full-court pressed. We, we made everybody just crazy. Right, right, And then right. We, we were just able to get fast break points, easy buckets, and fed off the energy on offense. Okay, okay. Uh, tell us something as we get ready to wrap up about you that your teammates know but the rest of the world doesn't. Uh, I would say... I'm, that, I'm a little bit of everything on the court. I, I really I love passing. I know that's kind of weird, but I, when I was little, I would watch all these. Like, I would watch the Bad Boys, and uh -huh. I would watch Isaiah yeah. Thomas. Okay. And I was like, I would remember. I remember one play. It was the one-handed. He caught it with one hand, and he whipped it down the court to like yeah. Bill Lambeer. Yeah. And I always like. I always remember that. I love fast breaks. I, just, I love passing. I like threading the and, needle. And I don't think there's anything wrong with a player like can pass. And we get into this thing where we think it's all about scoring and shooting. But passing's a you know a lost art. So if you're a great passer, you're going to be a great asset, especially with your size of six five. Uh, I've been giving guys some critiques, man. And let me tell you, uh, you did really well. And when you started this off by saying that you're known for being very excitable, you maintain that right here. You know, most guys get to moving around with so much ne ne uh, nervous energy that they actually move out of the shot. And I have to either bring it back in to stop him. So despite you being, you know, that guy who's doing everything on the court right here, you're very poised. Uh, you're not moving around. And I think that says a lot. So I want to share that, man. You come off as a really nice young man. Thank you. Okay. Well, best of luck to you. Okay. We got Griffin Mays right here. He's coming to a place near you, right? Yeah. All right. Good job, man. Good job. We'll see you.